Hi, I'm Sven Nielsen, the creator of Stickman and Elemento. Uh, my company is named Cutter Pro. Uh, I've been uh, busy the last year and I haven't got so much time to update uh, Stickman. But uh, now I got, got more time and I'm beginning with uh, something I really wanted for Stickman a long time and uh, let me just uh, show the concept of this um, in Stickman you can add figures from a library or you can build your own then you have to use um, Elemento uh, you can uh, assemble figures with um, body parts uh, and um, I'm going to just use a preset figure let's say yeah let me, let's take the smiley face at the right side we got a list uh, that it's named figures and uh, uh, these figures are named automatically so when you save the file you create your own please give it a good name for it so you can uh, recognize it in the list okay uh, so the standard feature of stickman is a control point tool here you can drag the control points you can um, build a skeleton for your figure and uh, you can uh, have uh, different layers of control that uh, here I can move the eye uh, excuse my bad English I'm, I'm not used to uh, speaking um, record, recording by voice so I hope I will get better uh, so Okay, and you can look uh, around. If you want to animate it, this, you can um, select a frame at the timeline, and you see the time. If you have high enough resolution, you can see the time at the slide bar here. And it also tells you the frame. In Stickman there is um, a standard frame rate of uh, 25 frames per second so uh, this is good enough for uh, most animations and when you export later you can uh, choose, choose um, another frame rate up to 100 and uh, Stickman will convert uh, the frame rate so you you, you cannot add more detail in your animation than 25 frames per second but uh, Stickman will add uh, in-betweens so you get a smooth animation even for 100 frames uh, using the, uh, the timeline is very simple it says uh, some hidden tricks you can right click drag it to move it along and um, this is often used in uh, when you animate speech you want to keep keep your cursor over with the figure you, you drag M many users uh, have problems when they first use stickman and they, and they create um, an animation and they com come up to 90, 90 frames so yeah, the trick is, is that um, here we have a design camera tool and we have select tool and if you select the uh, design or camera or uh, the color tool or one of these uh, three you get uh, a, an animation limits here so you can change it to 
hundred thousands or uh, you can up to 11 years of a length but um, let's uh, set it to 100 and you can see the black area here is uh, outside the animation so when I press play stickman will play the animation to the end and then repeat uh, a way to control this is um, in, under view you can select preview timeline and then uh, stickman doesn't care what your limits are it just repeats the region that you have visible in the screen and when you export um, your animation it will um, ignore the limits if you have preview timeline activated okay that was a short introduction to stickman in general and here is a new tool it's called uh, draw and if you keep the cursor over it it should have a um, tooltip it doesn't come here it perhaps is because I use a vacuum tablet and uh, here's a uh, point uh, at the left side you can select a figure layer you can select left eye right eye and you see the X and I uh, axis move that's the center of the coordinate system you can select the mouth so I want to draw a mouth inside his uh, a tooth inside his mouth so I select the size of the pen and then I draw it then now let's take a look at the closer look you see the uh, the upper tooth is uh, the upper tooth is uh, hidden beneath his uh, over lip why the lower tooth is over the lower region of the mouth this is something called in all stickman is was called the containers and uh, this is uh, a way to create relation between figures to so you can uh, pick up an item while you animate it and stickman uses uh, very cool advanced algorithms to solve this and um, let's try to paint uh, some here I can reset the camera and then I select the color and then I can uh, open and uh, add a new uh, color let's uh, take a brown you can move it around you can uh, throw it And then you simply paint at the figure. I ha have some guests now, so you please ignore just <laughs> the love. Okay. Here's a hair. And then you can add a new frame. and uh, change uh, the drawing you made 
and then you when you will you see that the you change uh, animate the here okay so this is a uh, yeah you can use the matrix tool as usual you can rotate it you can continue painting and um, so I'm hoping that this, this tool will be a very powerful future in the next version the next version will be 5.6 I'm uh, currently I'm running it uh, just uh, direct, directly from Visual Studio the uh, software I use to develop Sigma so thanks for um, watching and I hope uh, you will see forward to the next version and um, you can visit my website uh, it's, there's a direct uh, button in the, um, in the screen you click at it and you come to cutterpro.com and uh, you can search for create cartoons in 1 to 3 in Google and the side will come.